Hey guys, Skaz4. This is my beginner's guide to Accounting Plus. I know there's been a lot of talk about Swampy Cornelius and Arizona websites and secret codes and all that stuff, but that's all stuff that's outside the game. I thought uh, we need a little guide, a little walkthrough for actually what's going on inside the game. There's two sides to this coin, and at the end of the day, when we find the zoo level or any other secrets, it's actually going to be something we do inside the game. So I thought I needed to make a little guide to help out all these new people um, see what's actually going on inside the game. Uh, so I'm probably going to do this in a, I think, in a two-part um, series, since since I don't want to make too long of one video uh, this first video I'm just going to basically go through a regular game um, point things out um, show everyone what the the main game looks like and then I think in part two I'm actually going to delve into secret levels um, weird things in the game no one has figured out all the secret stuff that's uh, all the fun stuff basically uh, so let's get started um, this is the main level, the main area, Clovis's area, the main menu. This is where you always start a new game. Um, you start at this desk, you got new game button, you got, uh, blocks you can play with. You have, uh, the subtitle machine now. You can go through, choose what subtitles you want, you can turn them on and off. I'm going to leave them off for my playthrough. Um, I particularly don't like uh, subtitles. I think they're annoying, floating in front of my face. Um, if you want to actually see dialogue playthroughs or subtitles, um, there's a few on my channel, but I know there's lots of other people that have actually made dialogue videos. Um, you can look those up and you can see the full dialogue of levels if that's something you want. I'm not going to be doing that. Um, so let's start a new game. Uh, a new game. Clovis will direct you through the tor tor uh, tutorial. If you've already done the tutorial, you have your skip intro potion, which you can drink to skip the intro, but we're not going to do that. I want to show you the full experience of a, ra of a the main game. Part one of the test. In order to so this is uh, this is this is a little slow, but plus, bear with me. You're going to need to be able to rotate. Press First, you learn how to rotate. To We're going to do that. You did a really good job rotating just then. Thank you, Clovis. You are so good, so special. I don't even think. <laughs> you know what? Here's a trophy. You deserve. And you get a trophy. Oh, sweet. Part of the test. I did the thing the game was designed to make me do. But now that you're respected among your peers, yeah. are you humble enough to complete part two? I invented a system of teleportation unique to All right, then he'll explain about moving around. Hold the place station system. Hold the move button. So we're going to move up here. Oh, you teleported. Welcome to the High Flyer Club of Place Station 2. If you ever get lost in VR, just remember what your old friend Clovis said. Hold start. All right, teaches you how to reset. You do that. Well Don't done. Feel what a so champ. Much more recentered now. Remember, if you can't reach something in VR, just do this, and you'll be okay. It's time for the final part of the test. In order to fully appreciate and experience Accounting Plus, you need to be very smart and have excellent taste. I have both Here those things. A three Rick and Morty memes. All right, then he'll give you the three memes that you need to pick, which is basically just a tutorial of how to pick things up. Um, he does say that depending on which meme you pick, the game will change. 
Uh, that's a load of crap. People have played the game about a billion times, picking all the different memes. No one has ever seen any difference. So just pick one. Uh, let's go Wubba Lubba Dub Dub. Wubba Lubba Dub Dub. Classic Rick and Morty meme. You're ready now. You passed the test. And we're ready. We get to move up to the final checkpoint. And the game will begin. It's just beginning. Remember. Breathe in through your nose. And first we start in the office. The Smith and Smithers Smitherson Virtual Reality Accounting Office. Uh, there's probably there's gonna be a lot of dialogue going on, different characters. I'll I'll try to do my best to uh, speak clearly and speak loudly so that you can hear what I'm talking about, but if uh, I get drowned out at any point, I, I apologize for that. Um, basically you got a bunch of doodads you can throw around do whatever there's a bunch of filing cabinets everywhere with some with open uh, cabinets um, I personally I believe have thrown objects into every single open cabinet it hasn't done anything I know multiple other people have done the same boom got that one so I don't think there's anything special about any of them you have a cabinet back here. You can't interact with it yet. You have a fan. You can toss the fan away and if you don't want to listen to the buzzing of the fan. Okay, but basically, you hit the button. Oh, yes. you must be on your account. The accountants will introduce oh, yeah, themselves, let you know account. that you're the yeah, new accountant. Yeah, and you're going to be doing VR. Yes, this is splendid. And yeah, that you need to open up the v oh, VCR, which is this. You well, pop it open. Oh. Then I'll let you know that you need to find the VCR tape, which is actually back here. First, I'll tell you you need to hit the button three times to find it, so you do that. They'll make fun of you because that's not actually how you do it. I'll tell you it's in the top drawer. You come back here, you can try the top drawer. They'll make fun of you again because it's not actually in the top drawer. That's right. It's under the we plant, so we'll go under the plant. No, no, put the cartridge in the slot trick now. shot. Wow. <laughs> Once you have it in there, the goggles will raise up. In a VR is the and that's pretty much the all there is here. You got a chart back here. You do have this interesting certificate over here, which is signed by Steve Schplebly, which is a common theme you'll see throughout the game, Shplebly products, and also in the outside game puzzles and mysteries, dated on 420. Alright, so our goggles come up, we put them on, we go to the next level. And the next level is Tree Guys Forest. Or Tree World. Got a nice little sun up there. It's just a small little area. After a moment or so, Tree Guy will come out with his headset. And there he is. And the machine will pop open. You got a couple of interesting things over here. You got the birdhouse. You can look in. There's a seed. We're not going to mess with that right now. That's for later. You got a little bird TV. This will rise after a few moments. And you can answer it. And it's the accountants. Now, 
I'm not going to listen to all that. Basically, it's the accountants telling you that something went wrong. You're not accounting, obviously. You're in this weird world. And you need to find a way out. And they're warning you not to go any deeper. But, of course, we're going to go deeper because... Yeah, how fun would it be if we didn't do that? So you have to take the battery out of the machine, which pretty much screws up the machine. It's got no power. You have to put it into the headset, which is also a trick shot. Let's just do that. Oops. Boom. Jimmy, that's a home run. Not much here. Besides the secret pot. Headset on and go even deeper into VR. Which takes us to the gang level. Which you start back here. There's a couple interesting things. Uh, there's a couple dumpsters that have 451 written on them. Uh, there's this garage door back here. Johnson's Big Storage Solutions. Johnson Jr.'s Small Storage Solutions. Systems. Uh, you have the boombox. Trash around. And they're talking about how awesome they are. And their gang is so great. And they're so tough. You start the boombox to move things along. And once you start that, you can actually move forward to the gang. And they'll, they'll tell you that you have to prove how tough you are if you want to actually join their gang. And after a moment, the locations will all unlock. And this is uh, Zing, Ging, Ming, and Ding. So the only thing that really matters here is the brick. That's what moves the level along. We'll do that last. But you can come over here. There's a computer with one button you can press where you can download an illegal torrent of Garfield. So After a moment, that will complete. It has to. That's illegal, dude. If this doesn't get you in the gang, I'm gonna slit my nuts off. Torrent complete. Garfield movie download. Just spray paint. You can pick it up and you can spray paint the wall. And each of these things trigger unique dialogue from each of them. But of course, none of these things actually show that you're tough enough. It's only the brick that matters. Just, there we go. You come back here. There's a dirty magazine. Pick it up and look at it, and they'll be very impressed with how you're looking at a porno. No way. That is super tough and wild. Not enough. I wouldn't even do that. January '83. Not enough. I wouldn't hold it. All right. Oh my no God. Way. That is not tough enough. Scooter. No, no, no. You are a tough one. None of this other stuff you can actually pick up here. That's not enough. That's not tough Scooter. enough. That's you not can tough come enough. back here, and there's an adult beverage, which is squeebly. Like I said, you'll see that a lot throughout the game and these puzzles and outside the game. I hold things all the time. It's for grown-ups. They'll be impressed that you picked it up, but they'll be even more impressed if you drink it. Knock those other cans over too. You can't pick those up, but you can interact with them if you throw other things at them. Okay, now to actually finish the level, you have to pick up the brick, which will really freak them out. You can actually listen to their whole dialogue, and afterward, the brick will actually talk to you too and give you a little monologue about, you know, how you should throw it through the window. We're not going to listen to all that. Uh, a couple other things to note here. This is Berry's Blossom Emporium. You can see it on the back of the truck there, too. Berry's Blossom Emporium. Which is weird because Zing says his mama is a shop and her name is Betsy. But regardless, we'll pick the brick up, throw it through the window. That moves the level four. Ding will pop out. You're in the gang. With his Scooter, VR butt Scooter, for you. Use Ding. He's got a 
VR headset in And after a few moments, the cops will arrive. Here's the cops. And there's a whole dialogue you can sit and listen to the cops. We're not gonna do that, we're just going to pick up Ding. Put on face. Move on. Hello. Hello. And next we have the King's Dungeon. This is the King. You have the King sitting there. You have a table full of various objects. Out, so Spoons, milk, pizza, plates, all the fun stuff. So interesting things in the wall. It's a picture. It looks I like the king up. when he was younger. Took a big poopy shit. Uh, some uh, general around, motivation around, pi posters, it looks like. Just rule it. So the poster back I'm here. The There's a poster with the clown. Everything. Find the pill, I, I that's actually part of a secret. A we'll go over that later. Hallway back here. If you come over here, you can actually hear Flute Guy down in the dungeon. You can pick up stuff if you want and toss it down there. And if you Just stop to playing for a moment. Talk about the, what I'm eating. Like, I'm eating a cupcake. And we can talk and pick about up what stuff, cupcake it is, toss it at him. Basically, cupcake. he'll just we ramble on in an endless like, loop pizza, until you move on with the level. The pizza and cup, like if it, if it was, which, to do that, you have to pick up cup, oh, the knife. There's my knife. <laughs> Thank you. And then he'll start Thank a new dialogue. And basically, you have to stab ah. him. You wait a moment, you'll see the little you. stat I'm mark so appear on in front of him, cluing you in that that's what so you have to do to, to beat the level. You, are here with me you can also I've come back here, I have if you'd like, and drop the knife to kill Flute Guy. Like I said, just cupcakes, food, Maybe. garbage. I eat, gar I go through garbage, and it's so good. I'm so glad I have somebody like you here in my dungeon and and to help me just clean up. And Flute Guy's dead. Just. Just, 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 this is just, also just, a trick just, shot. Just my knife you can, if you was, try to throw was, it from back here, you get a trick shot. Thing. You, you but are, you have to hit it you right where those scissors are. Trick shot. Or you can just walk up and stab him. Once you stab him, you have to grab it. Cut him open. Then you'll get a phone call. This hand will come out. Again, it's the accountants. Right. Good news. Right. We've triangulated your position inside virtual reality, and you're literally standing right now. I'm not going to listen to all that again, but it's basically the accountant saying they figured out where you are. This is the king of VR. He can help us out. He can help us to escape. But of course, we just killed him. Uh, but they do mention that his heart is a VR, so in order to get out of here, we'll take his heart out. We'll use this to go even deeper. And now we are inside the king. Firstly, you have the xylophone over here. You can pick up these two bones. You can play the xylophone. You can hit these two guys. And then make noise. Okay. And pretty much everything you can think of has been done with this xylophone. Every melody you can think of, any code, everything, people have done the xylophone to death. So I really doubt there's anything that you can do with the xylophone. Even if you did have to play a certain code or melody, it's very hard to hit an exact note. So, I, I highly doubt you have to play a certain code or a certain thing like here. It would be almost impossible to get just right. Alright, that's enough for that. You have a big secret door here, secret level. Do not knock. We'll explore that later. Secrets. 
Oh yeah, bro. Now you also have a case over here or a cabinet. You can open this up. There's some stuff inside here. There's some photos of the skeletons, some uh, picture of milk, calcium. And most importantly, you find stomach acid. Do not drink. You can actually come over here, pour it on the guys, you'll get unique dialogue. If you continue to pour it out, you also get special music. That's the easiest way to do that is instead of actually holding it and pouring it out, just putting it upside down on here. And then the music will start. Pretty much it. And you can also, if you like, I do this sometimes, is you can just take it, turn it upside down and put it right back in and that will also trigger the music too. But to actually leave, you have to drink this and kill yourself. So let's do that. King's heart. All right, now we can now we're moving back up we are to the layers people. of VR. We so we're back in the king level here. We are uh, of VR, and obviously people. we killed him. So we now we're on trial for his people. death. So we're in we're a courtroom. There's actually a little kingdom. explanation here in front of you. you Couldn't follow simple instructions. And invaded our peaceful world. The king. You slayed we our went king. deeper into virtual, virtual reality. Into murdered. The beloved ruler, and now we found our, our way he back up by killing ourselves. And you took it all away. And that this is a fun little jury over there. We are upset with you. We're mad Signs. about this. We're mad about you. Poster over it's, there. And this is a court proceeding Basically, that you're in. he'll ramble on for a while. Right you can tap this. Room. It makes a noise like a microphone. Trial today. <laughs> Sometimes you when you tap it, you'll hear an air, air horn. Monster. Did you hear that? On this situation that you did. There it is again. Now we're we got to talk about this. You can tap the smaller one. I mean, I'm the judge. And it does the same thing, but a higher and pitch. And I'm a benevolent judge. I'm a malevolent judge. And I, you have I your briefcase here with your little defenders, you which is how you continue the level. You have to open that up. Delivers a swift when your little defenders will come out, situation. All right, okay. it's our arguing okay. for you. Is this your first little public defendant? Oh, yes, your honor. I put Basically, the, the way to end this level is uh, there's uh, three ways. You have to either pick up one of these guys and throw them at the jury, pick up one and throw it at the judge, or pick up and throw a total of six of them. So let's do that. We'll pick him up, throw him, kill him. You'll automatically get your next one. Well, you were asking for it. Your Honor, how much chicken noodle soup did you have? Let's oh, toss her, too. Oh, boy. Uh, easy. You'll get your third. Take it easy. <clears throat> All right. What? Oh, boy. Here we go with this again. <clears throat> then they'll, they'll start repeating. You'll get the the same three oh, it looks, okay. defendants again, you got another tiny but they do have here. different yes, dialogue the second My time around. Is of these Whoa. Show him. Oh. Okay, we got us. You got another tiny public defender in there. Oh, uh, the girl whoa, again. Whoa, whoa. Oh boy. Oh. Uh. Easy little public defender stepping up. Not a dead Let's little. Hear it. A lot of uh, dead little defenders around the courtroom. What? Oh, boy. Yeah, it's Here a six. All right, hold it. You know what? You have killed countless little public defenders. You know, in my courtroom, under my nose, you sat there and murdered these little tiny public defenders, which in our culture, we hold it very high regard. 
We care about these little things, and you're sta- sta- you've been standing there, mur- or sitting there, murdering them. You've just been over there murdering them, and that's not cool. So for that, I hereby adjourn this court, and I pronounce you guilty. And I sentence you to death. You get sentenced to death. death thing. Bring it and in. Michael will bring in the guillotine. Enough of this character. Which is the same thing what Enough is what happens person. no matter how you end the level. Tiny public defenders. He'll bring, bring in the guillotine. Thing. You have to stick your head into it. Kill yourself in order to go back down. Or go back up, rather. Which takes you back up to the gang. The cops are gonna kill us. We got now, the at this point, the cops are tail. after the gang. We're the on windows. the run from them. Don't Ding has already died. You got Ding killed. Ming has been shot. Over there, gang is all beat up. My name is We're in the uh, the van you that we saw earlier. You didn't even know my name. Picture. Faster, Ding. Get us out of here. I'm driving Zoo level article. Get off my hairy ass. My Sticker name is about Ming. ass. Did you, know? Did you know my name was Ming? You didn't even know my name. Up you didn't the even know it. The life bringer tactical cannon is in this big case. Oh. Got a oh, my name is Ming. bunch of little small Did details. You know the air fresheners, new car smell, chrome smell, rose petal smell. Uh, people used to actually think for a while that was a uh, keyhole, but that's actually a gear shift. If you look at the bottom, you can you can see it coming up from the bottom. I think they made it clear to see recently. It used to be a lot harder to actually tell that it was going into the floor because it was so dark up there. I'm swerving. Then you got the shutter here, which will open in a moment. That's how you continue the level. There's a uh, my beats or whatever here. You can pull them out. No one's really found any use for these. Let's just uh, oops, let me recenter myself. I'm off. Uh-huh. There's a seed packet here you can pick up. Sam Roberts Seed Solutions. Uh, no one's really found anything to do with that. If you reach over here, there's a glove for hand jobs. No one's really found any use for this glove. That's all you can really pick up. You can't interact with the radio yet either. You have to get to a certain point in the stage. Right, so let's go ahead and open up the shutter. What the fuck are you doing? Now we don't have any cover. They're shooting at us. Fuck. They're shooting at us. And you see the cops. Now I gotta drive fast. Now we basically just have to wait for the story to go through. Gang will get shot. And then eventually Ming will get shot. We just have to kind of sit and wait until we can go through the level. This this is basically the longest level in the game. There's a lot to do and a lot you have to wait through. And there goes Ming. He's dead too. And that's what triggers the cannon open up. The tactical life bringer Mark II gardening cannon. So you pick that up. Once you pick it up, you can't, you can't put it down. You also can't fire it in here. You have to, it has to be pointed at the window to fire. So move up here, and we have to take out all the cops. Shoot the cops! First cop car is always blue. No one knows why. But it is interesting to note. You just murdered two police, my God! And basically we're just gonna have to kill the cops as they come up. This is a take your innocent children to work day. Uh, but we don't care, we're gonna kill them all anyway. It's probably just holy fuck! No! And as you're killing them, Zing will uh let you know his disapproval of killing cops and innocent children, but what the hell, man? And then Zing's mom will come up. She's really no different besides the fact that she takes three hits instead of one. Pick her out. Vegetables! TV 
all night long. Fuck it. Murder them all. Yeah, that's, this is when Zing pretty much says, screw it. Kill the, kill the cops. It. Whatever. Who cares? So we'll kill some more cops. And then the boss comes, the big pirate boss. Various boat rounds. So basically you hit this guy 15 times. He doesn't do anything, he just talks. Not much of a boss. He'll go up in flames. Boom. And that's when the case back here opens up with the gun. Anyway, let's put on the also when the radio turns on. You could change the channel if you want. I'm pretty easy going about that. And basically to end the level we have to pick up the gun, kill Zing, make him crash the van and kill us all. So we can move back up a layer. You can mess with the radio, there's various songs on here. Yes, umbrella. I'm not one of those upside tricks. Play us, bro. Come on. Get up in here. Fiddle with the radio. It's okay. Man. I was just about to. I just thought of something. What would have happened if I'd been shot? Hello and oh. welcome. I would have fallen on the wheel and the car would have gotten out of control. I don't even want to talk about it. Right. It's not even back worth here. thinking about, really. Pick up the gun. Again, you want to pick it up. You can't drop it. Once you pick it up, crash. And we're going to go back up a level. And now we're back in Tree World. Look what, you thing. Look what you did to my world! The whole forest is on fire! And of course we find out now that since we took the battery out of the machine, that was actually cooling the whole world, the whole forest, and now we've uh, screwed it up and everything's on fire, and sun's also gone too. And he'll yell at you about how you've screwed up everything. Uh, the phone's still here. Doesn't do anything. Birdhouse is still here. Still open it up. Still has various bird television, and it's also showing how the whole uh, forest is being burned down. And he'll let you know that you uh, he have to save his bomb. That's his last possession. Once you pick this up, the bomb will start talking to you. You can't put it down. Basically, you have to wait until it explodes to kill you to move back up to the office level. Behind stuff. Try putting it in here. Yeah, there's nothing you can really do. Once you pick it up, you're going to die. In the dirt. And back to the office. Put that down. Pretty much everything is pretty much the same as before, except a little uh, uh, table that has a plan is now back here. There's the whiteboard which you can go through and it says all the credits basically this is like the credit level of the game you can grab it and flip it to go through the credits uh, 
it's actually been recently updated a little bit to show some of the new stuff like now it has June's voice actor on here continue to flip all the development development pictures special thanks more photos made in Los Angeles and Berlin more photos little doodles oh and thank you for playing There's a little hangman game down here which obviously says Splebly. Another Splebly reference. Can't flip it. And you get a nice little butt at the end. And if you keep flipping it past that, it just starts again at the beginning. Same little crap on the desk as before. I, I've tried throwing it into all the different things again. Doesn't really do anything. There's a, a new Etch-A-Sketch here, which has some extra credits. The Sony Interactive credits. I'm playing on PlayStation 4, of course. I don't know if this actually shows up on the PC version. Um, if it does, I would imagine it says different things doesn't do anything you can try shaking it Urgh, it doesn't erase and it always comes back to because you need to know who made the game it's very important and just like before you hit the button the accountants will talk to you and they basically congratulate you for making your way back from virtual reality. You can, uh, explore, there's nothing really. Any of these, you can pick up the fan again and toss it if you want to get rid of that buzzing. So we got the locked door back here. And I'll go through a whole speech, basically. First accountant will con be congratulating you. The second accountant will uh, kind of chastise you for going into virtual reality and killing everybody and basically causing chaos. But to end this, you basically pick this up. There's no longer a VCR here. There's a gun instead. You can pick it up. Once you pick it up, you can't put it down. Shoot little confetti out of it. Every time you shoot it, it does different little effects, different little musical effects. But you need to kill yourself one final time. So you point the gun at yourself. And back to Clovis's world. Ah, welcome back. Now you can start a new game or do whatever you want. Uh, let's come what over here learn? and check out the level Thank loader. You, please, the time to of course, now once you finish a level, you can go level. directly back to it with the level loader. That's a little cartridge for most you. levels. But I thought I'd take Look, here's where I just came from, the credits. Say that I'm Tree really World. Happy. Put it in here, and then you pick up the oh. goggles. Put it on your face, go directly to that level. Very convenient. Of course, we have our plant, uh, which is dead. No water. Oh well. 
All right, can you come back here? This is where Clovis's basketball hoop I see is. You've noticed my hoop. Oops. I play this sometimes. Uh, you can pick up the basketball and Since try here, to make shot, but it's actually I'm impossible sorry. to get it in. And Clovis, of course, will make fun of you every time you miss. Maybe Oops, that was terrible. Breathe and refocus for a moment. Ah, oh, that should have gone in. Okay, maybe, maybe try repositioning first. <sighs> Oops. Nearly there. <sighs> I feel bad. What? Ooh. Let's goes. try it underhand. Ooh, oh, please. Okay, look. I'll give you the trophy. Eventually, he'll just give you the trophy. There, there's a, a trophy, and I assume a achievement on Steam also for getting it in the hoop. He'll just give it to you at this point. It's all just a, a joke. You know, you can't make it in the basket no matter what you do. I love you. There's also the cartridge over there. We'll get into that later. They're taunting you. And uh, that's pretty much all there is. So uh, part two, we'll go into all the secret stuff, the secret levels, all the interesting little uh, things that no one's really figured out what to do with yet or things that might lead to more secrets that we haven't found yet. Uh, of course, we have the zoo level that we're looking for and possibly another secret level that we haven't even found yet so two more secret levels we're on the hunt for so um if you enjoyed this video please subscribe that does help out my small little channel here and i'll see you guys in part two bye